how did the progression from mathematics to physics to chemistry to biology unfold in the universe demonstrating a seamless continuum so at the beginning of it all as far as we know there was the initial singularity of the universe the big bang singularity or near singularity we don't quite know whether it was a genuine singularity or a near singularity if you look at loop quantum gravity there is no singularity there's only uh, the unit which is 10 raised to minus 98 or something uh, times the planck scale i think planck planck length uh, so yeah planck length or or centimeter or meter i'm not sure but yeah it's extremely extremely small so we had let's say a big bang singularity and then something caused it caused the universe to expand space time to expand and initially you had a single unified force as far as the best we can understand a single unified force in which described everything in the universe so the initial state of the universe was extremely dense extremely hot and you had you had all kinds of energy and particles everything in that hot dense soup like you say in the cliche so and and you had a single force and then you as the universe expanded and started cooling you had symmetry breaking and the various forces emerged out of this they broke off from the unified force whether it is gravity or the electromagnetic force or the strong nuclear force or the weak nuclear force they all broke off they all separated at different uh, energy scales temperature scales um and it all followed it all obeyed the laws of physics which are described by mathematics so think of it like somebody out of the outside the universe coded wrote a big program which encodes the laws of the universe so the program was written in the language of mathematics essentially that's what you can that's how you can understand mathematics mathematics describes the regularities and the patterns that underlie the universe so that's mathematics and that's how that that's what underlies everything and then you had physics which describes the actual laws the actual objects and everything that's inside the universe and then you had expansion of the universe inflation superluminal expansion and then as the universe cooled down you had you know the formation of the first atoms and then the formation of the first uh, stars then galaxies dark matter dark energy are somewhere in there we don't know what their actual role is but uh, so the universe was very 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 hot initially and then it started expanding and cooling and the stars etc formed galaxies eventually started forming and there was a time in the universe's ancient history when the average temperature of the universe was the average temperature that we have on earth today so it would have been very easy for life to form anywhere in the universe at the time so what you have is you have mathematics you have physics and then through physics you have chemistry because you have molecules combining together in in through processes that we call chemical processes and the formation of various complicated uh, uh molecules like amino acids which are the basis of proteins and all so it all happened in a systematic uh continuous manner logical manner and eventually you had life we don't quite know how life happened but it happened at at lower temperature scales clearly i mean the kind of life we understand there could be other forms of life that we we're not aware of that we can't per, perhaps even imagine perhaps but the kind of life that we are familiar with it would have emerged at much lower temperature scales and how did dna dna molecules uh, come into existence we don't quite know uh it's possible <laughs> that dna molecules could have first formed in the universe when the universe the average temperature of the entire universe was about the room temp uh, average room temperature on earth today possibly you know and then maybe they drifted across the universe on on space dust and 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 space rocks etc and the seeded life in various parts of the universe that's a possibility but we have zero evidence of that so it's just a hypothesis it's just speculation but that's overall how it would have happened and obviously everything the underlying everything you have the laws of physics which are described by mathematics so the laws of biology are described at the at the at the, at the foundation of biology we have the laws of chemistry chemical reactions and chemical reactions to understand that you have to understand quantum physics and all and various other forms uh, other fields of 
physics and underlying physics you have mathematics so that's the connection between everything